In today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can color grade your iPhone videos directly on your iPhone within the free app CapCut. It's gonna be a step-by-step -step guide, and this is exactly how I personally, how I'm color grading my own videos to make them pop and to make them stand out from the crowd. So make sure you stay till the end. Hey, what's up everybody welcome back to the channel in case you're new here welcome super excited to have you my name is julian i'm a creator i'm an entrepreneur and we help people make better videos using their smartphone or their professional cameras and turn that into a profitable business so in case that's interesting make sure you hit that subscribe button so like i said the iphone does have perfect cameras well not perfect but very good cameras and the video quality that you can get is absolutely amazing but if you want to get like even a bit more if you want to get to the next level video editing and especially also so color grading is gonna go a very long way and in this video like i said i'll show you step by step how i personally how i'm color grading my own videos so without any further ado let's hop into CapCut. all right so this is what CapCut looks like if you scroll down you have a bunch of different options but we're just gonna create a new project from here on and i will just basically um import a bunch of videos that i want to edit with you guys so yeah these are gonna be the two videos that we're gonna take a closer look at so this one was like this epic um yeah this epic scenery after a thunder the storm and this was like the super nice um vibrant colors and as you can see it already looks really good but we just want to get you know even a bit more to the image to make it pop even more and to have that wow effect when you're sharing your videos on social media on instagram on tiktok wherever you want to share them so i would say let's kick things off with this one right here because this is probably one of my favorite shots ever because the colors were just so nice so the way and how it works to you know get to the color grading functions is just select the clip once and at the bottom you you can just scroll over here to the right until you can find adjust just tap on that once and then you have you know you can swap over two filters there you basically have like a bunch of pre-installed color grading LUTs um, from CapCut some of them only work in the pro feature some of them also work with the free version but we're just gonna you know color grade the video manually because you know they can basically do absolutely everything except for matching different scenes and so on so if you want to get the absolute most out of CapCut I would actually recommend just investing the I think nine dollars a month or something whatever it is because then you will just have all of the, the features and if you're truly serious about making better videos then i do think it is a very good investment but now let's hop over here to the brightness this is basically where you can adjust um the overall brightness i think with this shot i actually nailed that pretty well so yeah maybe make it just a tiny bit brighter but that's basically it and in case you have a, a scene that's like way too dark you know, just make it a bit darker or brighter depending on your scene the next thing that i personally like basically always add is contrast so as you can see if i bring up the contrast it already you know the colors already pop a lot more so as you can see this is before this is after um if you're adding a lot of contrast you just need to make sure that the highlights are not clipping and that the shadows are not you know like completely you know completely dark already so what i have right here this is contrast at around 14 i like that if you, you can see I've, if i bring it all the way to the right like this obviously way too much but something around that area i think that looks pretty good Next Next up is saturation and this is where you can bring back you know even more colors so as you can see again if i bring it all the way to the right i do think actually with this example it does actually look pretty cool it's maybe a bit extreme and if you're going for that look then absolutely go for it but i still like to keep my shots look more or less natural i'm just gonna put it all the way to 20 something like this as you can see this looks already super super nice then we have brilliance let's see what that is doing um to be honest brilliance is i think that is something new it looks like it is it is mainly um working on the brightest part so maybe this is something like shadows but not too sure i'll just bring down brilliance just just a little bit maybe something like this then the next thing is sharpen to be honest i would not use the sharpen tool with smartphone footage as you know the sensor on smartphones already is pretty small and smartphones tend to over sharpen the image anyways so i would not do that i would keep that simple so i would basically basically just keep that um you know re remove that uh, at all together then we have clarity like this is something that you might have seen in photoshop or lightroom before like this is you can this, this is like a little different compared to sharpening with because with sharpening it's just like you know adding grain to the image and clarity it's just like you know it just makes the image a bit more clearer i would say also with videos i don't like to add clarity really to be honest i like to keep it simple so yeah just try it out for your scene if you have like a landscape or something it might work pretty well 
well. But yeah, for now, I, I will just um, skip that as well. Then we have HSL. Um, there we can basically just pick um, like specific colors, like for example, the teal. And then we can just adjust like specific colors. You know, you can make the, the C here completely green or even bluer or yeah, whatever. Like to be honest, I think with this scene that we have right here, the natural color already looks super dope. So we could tweak that a little bit. We could add even more saturation, but yeah, maybe something like this. I think that looks pretty cool. But you just need to make sure that you're not overdoing it and that it stays natural unless you're going for that super over exaggerated look. But for what I personally like, I like to keep it simple. So something like this is probably cool. And um, we can also do the same thing with the greens, as you can see at the top here, add even a bit more saturation to that. And then yeah, this is the before and the after, as you can see, colors are already a lot more popping and does look pretty good. Then we have graphs there. We can basically draw something like an S curve to, um, again, add a little more contrast and, you know, make the colors pop again. You just need to take care that you're not overdoing the thing. So just a, a tiny bit like we have it right here. This should be good. Then we have the highlights. This are the brightest parts of the image. I like to bring those down to, you know, keep all of the details and all of the information. Then shadows is the same thing just in the opposite way. To be honest with that image, we don't have like super dark parts. So yeah, we don't really need that. I'll just leave that at zero here. Then we have whites. Um, we don't really need that for this image right here. Same thing with the blacks. Like I think it's just a little bit too much for this one. Then we have the temperature. We could make it even a bit bluer or even a bit um, yeah, more uh, like overall a warmer tone. It's basically like the Kelvin, the color temperature that you're changing. Like if we're putting it all the way to the right, this is what it looked like. It would look like in, in Mexico and Breaking Bad. And this is what it looked look like. Yeah. To be honest, I think the, the white balance does look pretty good as it is. So we will just leave it as it is. Then we have the hue, hue and saturation there. We can basically bring the magenta tones or the green tones back again with this image. It does already look really good. So unless you're filming like some grass or so on and you have like a, a magenta magenta tint or something like this in the image. That's how you can correct that. But we don't need that with this one right here. Then we have fades. This is basically like an overlay to yeah, it's basically like a white adjustment layer with um, with um, the saturation turned down. We don't need that. Then we could add a vignette um, to focus the viewers to the central part. We don't need that as well. And then we would have grain, but also that is not needed. So this is the before and the after, as you can see, super simple. And in the end, you just need to adjust it according to your scene that you have for yourself. Um, one cool thing that CapCut does offer is we can now just tap to apply to all. And now if we can hop over here to the other clip and scroll over to the right and just check out the adjustments, then we already have all of the same, um, yeah, the same things that we had before. And as you can see, like for the most part, this is actually looking really good. Maybe with the brightness, I would turn that down a little bit because this is like a very, like a very contrasty scene and it's a very moody scene. Um, and with the brightness like this, like we just lose the information in the water here. So bring that down a little bit saturation. Yeah, I think that looks all really good. This is actually something where we could try to work with clarity a little bit because the scene just super contrasty and moody. It does make sense here. Then the highlights, we can bring them down even a bit more to not lose the information in the waters here with the shadows. If we wanted to, we could bring back the information right here. But again, um, I like the, the, the moody look here. Temperature. We we could also play around with that in case we wanted to make it a bit warmer. I think something like this looks really good. And then maybe also add a vignette to make it even a bit more extreme. So there's your before, there's the after. So as you can see, like once you have done it with one clip, it is actually super simple to just apply to more clips as well and to get like the super moody and contrasty and, you know, overall nice looking image. In case you would like to learn more about editing on your smartphone, as you can see, it's just super simple if you know like where to click, if you know what to look for it is actually quite easy to get a very good looking image in case that's interesting for you we do have a CapCut masterclass where we basically teach you everything there is to know about editing within CapCut on your smartphone or on your computer it's only 47 bucks we have a bunch of free bonuses on top of it so in case you ever wanted to get your videos to the next level just make sure you check out the first link below that like button and in case you have not seen the video where I'm comparing the brand new iPhone 16 Pro to the 11 year old iPhone 5s, then check out this video over there.